Today we are going to see on how we can get a live wallpaper or animated wallpaper on our Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer such as this one right over here as you can see looks really awesome now this is a free tool and as i said we can use it on windows 10 windows 11 we are going to see on how to install how to use it how to modify the wallpaper and lastly what kind of impact our system has by default windows only has the option to change the desktop picture or to select a color a solid color in this particular case and also to create a slideshow which sometimes is a bit boring so uh, probably we'll need some lively wallpaper on our lives that being said let's get started first of all we will need windows 10 or windows 11 activated and if you haven't still activated your windows don't forget to check out bnh software it is a platform that we have been using quite a few times we have created a few videos right over here showing how to purchase how to activate it's really easy just search for the license that you want windows 10 or windows 11 home edition or pro edition then just purchase i will leave a code down below in the link you will have a discount for that we just need to put in the code activate and we are ready to go so that we can take full advantage of our windows and also that we have all the security updates available on our computer so bnh software is a platform that we trust and no issues at all in recommending that being said in terms of the download we will need to go either to google or uh, on the microsoft store and we can download lively wallpaper once we download then we can start using it of course we will need to install it first but after that then just use it as you can see i've got it here on my screen and i'm using one that by default you will not have on yours this i called a Aquarium in Portuguese, which is Aquario, but by default you will have something like this right over here, which looks really, really awesome. Now, this right over here comes with uh, by default, as I said, and one of the things that I would like to share with you is the way that we can interact. If I double click or right click right over here, it will show me the uh, personalization, which I can just select, and for example, I can choose to desaturate and we will have uh, no color right over here. It looks like it's dark or we can give some saturation. Actually, this is too much fantasy, but we can play around with the values. And I want to show you this because this is something really interesting because this one right over here, the ribbon, by default comes in blue, but mine, as you can see, it's in reds which i actually prefer red or it's in rainbow i'm not really sure but we can check it out if i go to the uh, personalization and we have all the other options yes it's in red but we can select any other color that we want by default it's blue and i can select green for example so let's go and if we minimize it there we go besides this uh, we also can change the uh, amplitude of the wave so as you can see it's really small right now and if i minimize it you can see it better and if i change the amplitude as i did it will change the aspect that we have on the animation i really prefer with the larger amplitude like this because it looks a lot better it looks really really nice so each wallpaper that is designed and comes by default as its own menu you can create your own of course and we will see how to achieve that and besides that of course you can dig more and create proper wallpapers that will be similar to this with some options of course there are some that don't have any options now there are a few like this fluids right over here which besides having a really nice color and animation it also interacts with the mouse as you can see right over here it will follow the mouse and it will give this really nice animation and there are a few more others there are some that are my favorite this one right over here of rain looks really really awesome really nice we can also personalize it um, and if we go right over here personalization and we will be able to do the less intensity more intensity the zoom is something that really interacts with it as you can see the drops will look really huge so there are a few things that we can customize and of course we can change the image that it's um, beneath our window so this is really really 
a nice wallpaper but my suggestion would be for you to try it out because it's free it has a lot of potential now we have seen on how to use and how to modify now we are going to run through a quick uh, few settings right over here that are, are important one of which is the gallery gallery is something that is coming soon and it will bring a lot of wallpapers animated wallpapers here so that we can in a really fast manner add more and we will add but not uh, by this means which will take a little bit longer now we can go here to the settings and on the settings we'll find four uh, tabs general performance the wallpaper and system now this is in portuguese my system and there here we will have options like start with windows and go to the tray and fast startup and things like that some of it is in english some of it is in portuguese that it, i don't understand but basically i did remove the audio from the wallpapers because i don't want that in terms of performance we will have a few options right over here some of them are really interesting here it says that when we open in full screen any app it will just remove the uh, live wallpaper because we are not seeing and it's just using the some of the performance of our computer is having a impact on our computer so it will just go off and it has other options right over here that will help to improve the utilization of the software here on wallpaper we have uh, a few options as well that we can explore and then finally on system we can can personalize the task bar right over here and there are a few more options right over here that is it in terms of the options now let's see on how we can add more of these um, animated backgrounds our first way is to add videos like this one right over here aquarium uh, we can just go to add and then we can select the file if you already have your own clip which is in my opinion the funniest way to use our pet clip or family or several clips and then we can just put them right over here and have a personalized animation that no one else has and it means a lot to us so this is my favorite way but if we have that animation online on our youtube channel or any other public link then we can put it right over here where it says enter url and basically what happens is that when we put a address right over here we press this button and the video will come to here this is exactly this video right over here and as you can see i also placed mine here from uh, one of my videos from youtube and it did add the video right over here but this uh, honestly in my particular case is something that i don't want it's a bit boring because uh, another video of myself no thank you very much not on my desktop i actually prefer a aquarium right over here this one is actually really nice at the beginning it will show us the title of youtube right over there but then it this just disappears and it will be as any other wallpaper as you can see and also this will disappear right over here it just appears at the beginning and basically this is it in terms of adding wallpapers through videos that is another way uh, which is to go to reddit and then search for lively wallpaper and we'll find the community and the page of lively wallpaper where we can find some wallpapers shared by the community now it's not very intuitive so i'm really expecting that this part of the gallery gets ready so that we can in a centralized way download more lively wallpapers but until then that's one of the ways that has been used uh, for quite some time by users to share live wallpapers and some of them are really really awesome i did download one or two just to test it out it is a little bit time consuming searching for wallpapers because it's not organized but it's one of the ways the other way that i would suggest is if you search for motion graphics background you will find some websites that will uh, allow us to download a few free samples which we can then just import to our computer and make it as a live wallpaper the impact of the performance of the system for what i have observed uh, it is using roughly from two to five percent of cpu usage depending on the cpu that we have on our system it's using roughly 500 megabytes of ram which is not that much and once again depends on the computer but if we take a look on the graphical side of things it is using quite a bit so my suggestion is to use on the lively wallpaper the option when we have an app in full screen 
to just shut down the usage of lively wallpaper so that we can have the maximum performance of our system dedicated to the app that we are using. But you can observe that on your own system. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. If it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.